the kids are on a mission to set the record straight. They hope to unite the families and stop all the hate. This is cool. I've never ridden in my own train car before. Neither have I. I don't travel much. I thought since we have the means we could cross some things off our bucket lists. You're so smart, Jules. Thank you. So, how do you think our parents are going to react to this? I have no idea. I think your dad knows, that would explain why he's so upset. It's my mother that seems to be oblivious. That's true, so how exactly do we handle it? We gather the troops and we go talk to my mom. That was the shortest vacation I've ever heard of. Apparently they found something that we just had to see. I wonder what it is. We'll find out soon. Their train just got here. Hey guys. Hey Jules, how was Aqua Vista? Oh Ty, it was great. I got to ride a horse at a small ranch, I went to a butterfly farm, and I ate cotton candy on the pier. Sounds like a good time. What about your thing? How'd that go? It was amazing. Rita bakes the best sweet bread. I'm going back soon. I'll take you with me. Hey Cell. Hey. I didn't expect you back so soon. I didn't expect me back so soon either, but we found something amazing in the back of the book. It's going to change lives. What did you find? Let's go get something to eat and we'll tell you everything. Alright. We had spent the whole day hopping from activity to activity. When it started to get dark we ended up on Roger's Peak and finished the book. I went to close it and Jules noticed a letter taped to the very back. It was addressed to Reed Lorimer from Jasper Stone. Jasper Stone, that's our great-great-grandfather. Right, and Reed is Roman's great-great-grandfather. Well, this is interesting. So they knew each other? This is like a real movie. What does the letter say? Dear Reed, I know it's too late to rebuild our friendship. I'm sorry for everything I did. We were meant to build this company up together, just like we wrote these books. I was selfish. I'm going to make this right, I'm going to give you back your portion. I hope you can forgive me. I hope you can rest. Your best friend Jasper. Wait so, this means... Yes, Reed Lorman and Jasper Stone wrote the books together and started the publishing company together. They had this handwritten contract. It looks like Reed passed before Gramps even wrote this, and Gramps passed before he could settle everything. I think he would want us to fix it. I think he would. Okay, so what do we do? We go talk to Mrs. Stone. Tiberius, you're back. I'm glad you're here. Please sit, we need to talk. Um, okay, sure. Tiberius, I want to apologize to you. You do? I do. Yesterday you told me how you felt, and even though you were harsh, you were right. I wanted to keep up appearances in front of other rich families, and I used you two to do it. I did marry into wealth, and I lost my perspective. I felt like if I didn't stay on top I'd end up back where I started, but the social ladder is not as important as family. I'm going to try living a new life. I hope you and Jules will forgive me and join me on this new path. That sounds nice. I apologize too, for the harshness of my message and I want you to know that I'm proud of you. I wish Jules was here so I could apologize to her and tell her that I read her book. You did. What did you think? Jules. I'm back, and I accept your apology. I'm sorry too, I shouldn't have run away, I just wanted to see some new things. I know, come here. I'm glad you're back. How was it? It was pretty mom, we took a cheese tour. They make 37 different cheeses in Aqua Vista. 37 cheeses? Wow. And where's Roman? Did he come back with you? Roman and Marcelo are outside. They said they'd wait until we sorted out our family business. They're here. There's something we really needed to show you as a group. You may want to remain seated for this. Um, okay sure. 
Here you go. You'll understand once you read these. No way. Carl was right. I can't believe it. I had no idea. I said so many terrible things to him. I think he'll forgive you. You just need to talk to him. All right, let's go. Everyone into the car. Marcelo said that Roman will be back in a couple days. He's having a good time out there. I'm so glad. I can't wait to see him. I wonder who that is. Coming. Roman. I thought you weren't coming back for a couple more days. How'd you get back? Jules and I hopped on the night train. Mrs. Stone brought me here. Actually, she brought everyone. Oh I see. Well, everyone come inside. Laurie is going to be so excited. Who is it, Carl? Roman. Hey mum. I'm so glad you're back. How was your trip? It was definitely interesting. I learned something really amazing out there and we rushed back home to tell everyone. We? Hello. Oh. Hello Jules. Does your mother know you're here? I do. I brought her. Oh I see. What brings you here Diamond? We have a lot to discuss. I'll explain everything. After a dramatic reading of the letter. Do you know what this means Carl? You were right. Fascinating. So they wrote the books together. They were two lost halves of a dynamic friendship. And a lifetime later these two bring them back together. As a librarian I have to say, this is probably the best story I've seen in a while. Agreed. Well Diamond, I guess this contract makes us business partners. Are you ready for that? I look forward to this new experience. So the two families move to get the affairs in order. Six months later they celebrate the grand reopening of the Stone and Lorman Publishing Company. Thank you for coming everyone. I'm so excited to be celebrating with you all. Your support in buying the reprints of the books is nothing short of heartwarming. We also appreciate your support in purchasing Roman and Jules' new book. Our life has changed so much in the last six months and we can't wait to give back. So without further ado, let's all have a good time. Everyone looks so happy. I'm glad you invited me. Of course I would invite you Rita. You were a very important part of making all this happen. That's a nice hat you got there son. Thank you. I could say the same about yours. You know, I'm very impressed by your business sense. You ever thought of moving to a new location? I have a beautiful old storehouse I think would be perfect for you. What do you say? Do you want to do business with me? Sounds good to me. This is a beautiful party diamond. You should be proud. Thank you, Chad. I am? I was thinking, I know that Jules and Ellison are doing their own thing now, but we could come to other arrangements for our business agreement. Maybe we could talk about it over dinner. I'll put you on my calendar. Are you that happy? I'm ecstatic. All I wanted was for our family to be together and now we have more family. Sunday dinner is going to be jam-packed. You're so silly. 
Did you ever think we'd get to this point? Never in a million years. It's like some sort of novel. The Stone and Loriman story. Even better, Roman and Jules. Roman and Jules. I like it. Me too, it's perfect. So, in the end they all lived well, and that's all this story we have to tell. Goodbye everyone, we hope you enjoyed our little play. We love you all. See you next time. Bye. Wow, this feels like the end of an era. Thank you for sticking with us throughout the whole play. If you liked this episode, leave a comment, tell me which part was your favorite, drop a like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Alright, bye. It's so beautiful, I can't believe it's over. I don't know if I'm ready. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye. I'm going to go comfort her. She's an emotional being. Thank you for watching. Bye.